Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome back to Dreadout. Where... I think, I think I've got to go down here. I think this is my course of action. I think Miss Siska is dead, I think that's who it was hanging from the rafters, and... I don't know where Shelly's gone. Lynn, or Ira, Ira, is... Possessed to all holy fuck, and... I don't know if we're getting her out of this one. I don't even know if we're getting out of this one. I was... Oh, oh, nice. Oh. Oh, my, my feet are going to get all soggy. But this looks... Delightfully welcoming. Nobody around is going to bite my nips off for it. Okay, well, scratch that thought. Somebody's definitely going to come and bite my nips off. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the fuck is with these heads? <laughs> oh, I don't know. There's some fucking creepy shit right there. What's with those? Can you let me in? Oh, oh, yes. I, I don't know what that was all about. Alright. Ooh, yay, eerie music. My favourite kind. Really set the atmosphere. So what's with the locks? Can I get in? I know I got given a key. Or did that key just get me in the gate? Aha! Access. I think I'm glad to be coming in here. I, I, I f <sighs> Then do we really have to do this? Oh god! The fuck? Up you get, Lynn. Come on. What was that? Oh, great. Oh, no. I don't like this. I never like this. Oh, I'm only going to be able to see you in the mirror, aren't I? That's a mirror on the wall. Oh! Ah, oh, fuck! Yeah. Yeah, the, the... Ow, fuck it! Oh! You nasty bitch! Oh, where is she? Ow, fucking ow! Oh, leave me alone. You're hurting me. I don't like it. Oh, Jesus. No, I think we're dead. Great. I can still hear her, even though I'm in limbo. That's not particularly reassuring. So how am I meant to deal with this one? God. Fuck's sake, you you just cannot wait to to have a go, can you? <laughs> Fucking ow. How? How do I beat you? How do I get rid of you? Take out the mirrors? 
Mm. Aha! Right. That's what I need to do. Uh. You're dead, Lynn. Okay. Yep, okay, thank you. So, mirrors. Here we are. That got you. You don't like it, do you? Ha! Ooh. She really don't like it. Fucking music in this game. Music's really good at setting the mood and the tone and oh. So uh, my objective got updated. What do I need to do? I need to figure out figure out the secret this mansion holds. Yeah, we really do. How how are we going to solve this? What's all this about? Oh, somebody was putting on a gig, gig, gig. Don't know what a gig is. Do any of these doors open? Hmm. I'm going to assume not. I may get lucky with one of them. But chances are it's going to be a no. I did see some stairs, so maybe I need to go up those. Probably going to say this is what I need to do. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh, she didn't seem to be about at the moment. The evil sister ghost, or whatever she is. Don't like this. I would say that I am not a fan. But this seems to be the last big hurdle before we can get out of here, so... If you could stop with your violin, that would be great. Every room's got broken mirrors. The mirrors are playing a key point in... Certainly the setting of this. And the setup for whatever this ghost's deal is. Ooh, fancy doors. Oh, Jesus! Ow! Lynn! You okay? Oh, ow! Oh, God! No! Shattered ankles! Oh! See you? Well, I, I don't see you, but I can tell you clunking about. Were you not happy with the uh, the dinner setting? Oh, oh! Right. Ah. Okay. <laughs> the fuck? Oh. What the? Okay. Motorbike. What, what, what were you all about? No clue. Do you want to rustle up some more food? Ooh. Ow, fucking Christ! So I'm meant to be trying to take pictures when she fucks with things. Oh, 
Oh, she's close. Uh. I don't know how to see her. How am I meant to see her? Mr. Cat? Uh. Oh no, she's close. Uh. I, I need to run. Do I need to get to that room upstairs? Ooh, that could be it. Maybe I should try that. Oh no, that's not it. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, what do I do? Oh. Yeah, I think the key is to... Wait for her to start rustling things around. Come on, throw some more stuff. Come on. I'm not... I'm not that scared of you. Honest. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh, nearly. You nearly got me. But not quite. Damn it. You having a fun time flinging those chairs around? Oh, God, yes. It looks like you are. Okay. Oh, what do I do? I mean, I feel like I'm on the right track. Kind of. Oh, God! Ow! Ah! I caught something. Hmm. Let me stop. Oh, God. What are you flinging around now? Ah! Stop hurling chairs! I'm definitely getting something. How much of this do you endure before you actually show yourself? Oh, flinging chairs again, are you? You're so grown up, so mature. Ooh. Hi. <laughs> Damn it. I need to move. She's close. Oh, this is tough. Not quite as tough as the uh, scissor phantom. That one was a royal pain in the butt, but you're just annoying. Come on. Come on, do something. Do something cool! Come on! Ooh. No. Damn it. This is a very tedious battle. Oh! Ooh. Okay. Stairs are clear. Okay, I'm going. Don't have to worry about that mirror at all, do I? Am I in the clear? Do I need to go through this door now? I think we might be good. Okay, I'm, I'm going. I'm going. Whew. Okay, well that was invigorating. If fucking tiresome. 
Oh, wow, okay. Ominous. And a mirror that doesn't show my reflection. Oh, mirror world. Ooh, intriguing. Anybody in those chairs? Nope. Anybody in the mirror? No. Okay. What the hell? Ooh, clue. Dress room key. Okay. Key to the dressing room. Where was the dressing room? Alright, now what have I found? My reflection is now in this one. Am I looking for something on the walls? Oh, this is definitely all about the reflections then. Mirror world. Ghostpedia updated. Okay, that's great. What am I doing here? Am I going... I'm not going back through. Something to do with this lot? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Uh-oh. Uh this isn't good for you, Lynn. I wouldn't do it. Maybe you should stop. No? Ow. What is this doing for me? Do I need to find one of these mirrors? Does one of these mirrors not show my reflection and let me through or something? No. It's something to do with these. No. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Had to find a trigger. Nothing to do with those? No. Okay. Right. Where do I find this dressing room? Oh, I think it's this room here. This one. The door on the other side. Okay, let's check this. No. Okay, not that. Where am I going then? Oh, is it one of the doors down here? The feeling it might be. Yay, nay. Like, it would help if there was a sign telling me which door was the dressing room. You know, just a just a little FYI. Oh, God. Wow, Lynn. You're a beast. <laughs> Ooh, right, okay, maybe this one? Aha. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah? Where you at, bitch? I know you're here. 
Oh, fucking wow. <laughs> oh, oh, no, I, I see you on the floor. You cheeky moo. Cheeky moo. All right, okay. So I gotta see where you are in the mirror and then take a photo of you in real life. Where are you at? No. <laughs> oh, I got this. I got this so good. Watch me die now. Uh, where are you at? Where are you coming from? Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Oh, nope, she got me. Bitch. Ha! Nope. Oh. Are the walls cracking? That ain't good. Ah, oh, Jesus. That one was close. Close, but I see you. Kind of. There we are. Yes. Oh, God, wow. This room really is falling apart now. Ah, God damn it. She's quick. And there's not a lot of room to move. Oh, oh, you're right behind me somewhere. Ah, ah, oh, god damn it! Damn it, we died. So close, doing so good. I know what I'm doing with this one. It's literally just a matter of perseverance. We're back in then. Where is she? Where? Why can't we get her? Why is she not showing up? I'm not getting my glitch. Lynn? Where is she? What is she doing? Watch your surroundings. Ah! Cheeky cow! I wasn't even able to see you on the roof. Huh? Damn it. Right. Yeah. I know you're up there. There. Got you. Right. Oh, now this. Ah, no. Ah. Sneaky. Oh. Ha 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 ha. Nice try. Nice try. Indeed. Oh, you're getting harder to spot because of the mirror. The reflection's getting worse. No, you don't. No, you don't. I'm hoping that like all of this damage, like from limbo and everything, could be cumulative. I mean, the the damage to the room certainly is. Like, it's carrying over from attempts to... Oh! Oh, okay. I, I, I got her. Why have we got first person? Oh, okay. My, I think that was just a bit of a glitch on the game's part. Yep, definitely. It's the camera... Clipping in with the the scenery, I think. Ooh, this is a fancy bedroom. What was up with that? Why was that freaking out on me? I don't know. And there's one mirror left in here. Oh, we gotta sit down. Okay. Not sure how I feel about this, Lynn. Oh, God. 
Very nice. What's going to be there when I look back? Lynn, I don't like this. Why can we only turn our head to the left? And why is everything behind you getting darker? Lynn, this isn't good. Oh, hello. Lady in red. What do you want from me? Please don't bad touch. Really? Oh, I can't move. I can't do anything. Whoa! The fuck? We've been taken to the mirror world. Holy shit. We're back at the front of the school. My phone battery is nearly out. So, am I... are we free to go? Ooh. Looks like we made it out. Hello, officers. I need some help. It's a beautiful star. Reminds me of Deadlight. Oh God! <laughs> oh wow! Okay. So that was Dread Out. Interesting ending. Certainly not a happy ending. Wonder what. In fact, I, I don't mind not knowing whether, like, Lynn truly gets away from everything or not. I think a lot of... A lot of Asian horror have, like, these kind of bittersweet or unhappy endings. And I really like that, because... I think so much of... So much of cinema and, like, storytelling is all about the happy ending. Everybody gets their just rewards and... Everybody goes home safe and happy, you know, all that sort of stuff. Even with some horror films, you know, you always get your, protag your protagonist will... More often than not, will get to survive and will get their freedom. But obviously it will have come at a cost. And I, I think with a lot of Asian or a lot of West, uh, Eastern um, horrors, a lot of the Asian horrors that I've seen the endings aren't happy that they're, they're, they're often left in that kind of limbo state where you know the the their curse still follows them or you know there there's no closure on the bad thing being put to rest and i i really like that a lot of the time it re works really really well but i really like this game this game has captured the spirit and the kind of atmosphere of uh, Asian horror films, the, the ones that I've seen anyway, and they've really captured it and presented it very, very well. I mean, you know, this is a, an indie-developed game, and, you know, the obviously, you know, it's, it's also a few years old as well now, so, you know, the graphics weren't, you know, kind of top-notch, but I think it was presented really nicely. I, I liked the character design. Some of the voice acting was a bit 
off, a bit iffy. Uh, but other than that, I really liked it. The atmosphere was great. The controls were slightly awkward and uncomfortable, and I think that helped to kind of solidify that kind of you know, you're 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 not a capable person in this game. You're not. I think that's what I like about a lot of some certainly some the most the majority of the horror games that I've played of things like Amnesia or Outlast or or this is you're not the kind of person that is going to be well trained and equipped to deal with fighting off monsters. And with this one anyway, there weren't like real tangible monsters. They were all ghosts, and it was an interesting play on the concept. I know things like. Um, Oh, is it Fatal Frame, I think, uh, was another uh, game that played with the kind of ghosts and cameras and stuff. And what I've seen of that has got a very kind of similar vibe to it as well. But I liked this, I liked the setting, I liked the presentation, the controls. Um, I think the only real gripe I've got about it is the uh, like kind of... With some of the ghost fights, um, especially the Scissor Phantom one, um, in that tiny enclosed space, it was really easy to get stun locked, and I felt that that was not harder. Like I don't think it was too hard a fight for the the period in the game that it was at, but I think that it was clumsy and it. The, the the sheer lack of space, I mean, obviously lended itself well, but it also kind of hindered progress. It You know, the stun locks really made it a bit of an issue of, you know, this fight should be pretty easy to get over and done with, but I can't get out the corner. And that can prove to be a bit of an issue and, could, you know, obviously led to quite a bit of frustration on my end. But ultimately got through all of it and had a phenomenal experience with it. I'm... I'm wondering what the hell happened to all the other characters. I mean, the, like, of the ones that we saw, or the ones that we arrived with, we only saw two of them ending up dead. Unless somewhere in the reveal of Miss Siska being dead, Shelley was in there somewhere as well. But then we never saw Yion, so I don't know what happened to him. All in all, I've really enjoyed this game. I think it has been a load of fun, and I'm really glad that I sat down and played it. And, yeah, just another one of those uh, horror games that I have added to my list that I can say I have played all the way through and have a little bit of an achievement thing. So, I'm really glad that I played this, and next week we'll be starting up a new horror series, and it is going to be one that has been a Patreon request, so I'm really looking forward to that, and kind of not really looking forward to it as well. <laughs> But for now, I'm going to wrap this episode and this series up here and just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlist on the channel for more Let's Plays on Metal Covers and give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, be sure to hit that subscribe button and maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video and I will catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. Fucking uh. <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone.